as today is International Women's Day, as in the day I filmed this, not the day you're watching, it was yesterday, as in Sunday, I'm going to be doing hashtag Dear Me, which is something that YouTube themselves have come up with for International Women's Day, and I basically have to come up with three things, three pieces of advice that I would give to my younger self. So yes, I've come up with three things, doesn't have to be clear, I don't think, but things that you would tell your younger self as some advice and things. The first thing I would tell my younger self is, don't be such a pushover. I was very much someone who liked to please everyone and would just go along with things to keep other people happy, even if it meant that I would be miserable. However, I now know that if you don't want to do something, don't do it. Like, it's your life. Do what you want to do in your life and what makes you happy. And if it doesn't make your friends happy or if they don't accept your decisions, then they're not very good friends. So don't be such a pushover. Number two is one I'm quite sensitive about and it's don't be ashamed of things that you're not very good at. Now, in school, I really was not very academic at all. I'm not very knowledgeable. I'm not the smartest when it comes to, like, maths and things like that. In fact, I've taken my maths GCC five times and failed it every time. There's going to be something that you are good at, and just focus on what you're good at and ignore everyone else. I was teased at school by... Maybe they didn't think it was teasing, but I took it quite personally when they would take the mickey out of me for not being very good at um, academic things. So I focused my attention on my performing arts, which is what I now have a diploma in and I'm very proud of that so be proud of what you're good at and ignore everyone else who take the mickey out of you who are not very good at things. Everyone has things they're good at, everyone has things that they're bad at. Become amazing at what you do best and don't worry about what you don't do best. Number three is definitely do more things that scare you. I hope very much I like my little bubble and I like to stay in my bubble and if I know something is going to be scary or something's really, really new, I tend to back away from it and not do it. Um, however, usually i found if I put my foot down and done something that scares me, it always turns out really, really great. A fine example being yesterday, as on Saturday, I went to my first vloggers um, meetup and it was absolutely amazing. Well done to Pippa if you're watching. Hi! Um, you did an absolutely amazing job. I met so many wonderful, wonderful bloggers. And yeah, like I didn't even know there was this many around the area. Um, so well done, Pippa. And I almost want to give myself a pat on the back for going. I know that sounds really sad, but I was really, really scared, really nervous about it. Um, I went completely on my own. I mean, I had a friend with me during the morning, but I went in on my own. Um, and she was a rock. <laughs> She's probably the only reason I walked in. But yeah, I went in on my own, not knowing anyone, and I've made so many new friends, which is amazing. And do something that scares you. Maybe not all the time, but when you're giving an, given an opportunity that you know is going to help you or something that you've always wanted to do but it scares you, just do it because you're going to be so proud of yourself once you've done it. Those are my three things. Leave in the comments below what you would give your young, what advice you would give your younger self. I'd love to see. Um, and let me know if you're similar to me, if you would tell them, tell your younger self the same things that I would tell my younger self. I'm completely going off topic of independent woman. Um, although she is an independent woman, I have a new fur baby. She is your baby hamster. If you pop along over to my Instagram, you can see a picture of her. However, I need a name for her. I don't have a name. She is currently nameless or little one. She has no name. Um, so leave me name suggestions over my Instagram or in the comments down below. I quite like to go along with Disney theme as my cat is called Aurora. So yeah, go along that theme. As always, my social media links are down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.